Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our virtual classroom. Today, I am simply going to go over uh, instructions for today uh, that I will not be here in class. And so moving on to today's daily folder, today being Tuesday, uh, there's no warm up today. And so what you will need to do is go immediately into um, the textbook. So you're gonna go into 7-2. Uh, and if you'll open up two tabs, so I'll open up the textbook, so keep that open. And then um, in a different tab, uh, go ahead and open up the submission. Just like we usually do. And I just wanna run through this assignment. I just wanna run through this assignment and um, give an idea of how to do it. Now, we are beginning with number eight. So make sure you scroll down to number eight. And from there, you're just doing eight all the way down to number 25. Eight all the way down to number 25. Now, you will see here number eight uh, that all you need to do is organize, uh, sorry, to use the inequality symbols, to use the inequality symbols to denote which of the two uh, integers is greater. What do I mean by that? Well, remember, an integer is just a number without a decimal value. That integer can either be positive or negative. Uh, so really, this is just testing your understanding of where these numbers will lie on a number line. Um, for example, uh, right here we have 17 and 20. And to show your work, ladies and gentlemen, on your notebook, all I need you to do is to write down the number, obviously, that we're working on. Put both of the numbers that we are comparing and between them, go ahead and put the, the appropriate inequality symbol. So, for example, right here between 17 and 20, what is greater? Well, 20 is greater, so I'm going to have the inequality symbol face the 20. Now, remember, the inequality symbol will always be open towards the larger number. Uh, in elementary school, maybe um, you you made this into some kind of animal, like an alligator or like a Pac-Man, and you would see that the mouth would always be open towards the larger of the two. Um, so, so in that regard, yes, it is facing the 20 here. And that's it. It's pretty simple, right? Moving on to number nine, for example, moving on to number nine. So I would write number nine. And here we're comparing the numbers zero and negative five. Again, this is how I'm showing my work. Uh, and here I can clearly see that zero is greater than negative five. And so I would face it that way. Now, for those of you that are confused by this one, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that in uh, when comparing positive and negative numbers, um, the larger the negative number, the smaller it actually is. In fact, if I use these number lines down here to quickly explain that, um, so anyways, you're doing that for 18 all the way through 16, right? But again, to explain, let us consider the fact that zero is right in the middle, right? Anything to the right of zero is going to get larger. For example, right here, I think we're moving by twos. So two, four, six, eight. So obviously, uh, uh, for example, let me let me organize these numbers into this number line. So zero is right here in the middle. Uh, negative two would be right here, negative two, because they're going by twos. Three is right here between two and four. Here's three. Negative seven, so here we have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven. Notice where negative seven is. And four would be right over here. So if I were to ask you which of these is the least number, because we are organizing these from least to greatest, well, the least number here, ladies and gentlemen, would actually be negative seven of these numbers right here, obviously. Why? Because it's the most to the left. It is also the largest of the negative numbers. Remember, the larger the negative number, the smaller it actually is. So it'd be negative seven, followed by negative two, followed by zero, followed by three, followed by four. So four is indeed the greatest number here. If we try that again uh, down here, let me plot these numbers. So beginning with negative five, so we're going by twos, right? So it's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Negative five would be right here. This is negative five. And we have eight, which would be in the positive side. So zero, two, four, six, eight is right here. Two is right here. Negative six would be right after negative five. Again, going in the negative direction. So this is negative six. Negative nine is right here, right before negative 10. And one is right here between zero and two. So again, 
going from least to greatest, while the least of all these numbers clearly is negative nine. Negative nine, followed by negative six, and then we have negative five, and then we have the number one, and then the number two, and then the number eight. So um, when you're doing that on Schoology, remember that I believe it is a drag and drop. So if I can preview this for you, starting an attempt. Uh, yes, go down. Yes, you are simply dragging and dropping the numbers, least to greatest of these uh, negative sevens at least. So I take it and notice that I can put negative seven now to be the first one, uh, then negative two, and then zero, and then three, and then four. Because we're going from least to greatest. Uh, the least would be on top. So yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, please uh, be careful when doing that. Feel free to use uh, the number line that you see in my room. Uh, that's all integers. Um, help each other out if you can. It really is not a hard assignment. Uh, when you finish, uh, I'm going to ask you guys to, um, to not just play games. You can work on stuff from other class or you can read. Um, do something productive that is quietly. I'll leave that at the discretion of the sub. Um, but yes, this should be an easy assignment. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, think, um, I think that's it. So it should be, again, a pretty easy, uh, a pretty easy day for you guys. And with that in mind, I will see you next time.